it was happening, people. Uh, and uh, this video. A heart speed to the city streets. We make feels like it's been a freaking. This is a creative shot. I have the final image kind of like in my mind. I know what I want to get. You can do this, you know, in any place and it's easier. I am uh, right now under the weather here in Florida. And I know like the first look I'm gonna shoot in the uh, in location here on the black background. And I'm gonna cut out the, the subjects and I'm gonna drop it in a, a background, which I will shoot later on location. Uh, this is not a brand specific video. You can use any small battery operated flashes. I have today, I have the AD200 uh, and the Godox 300 uh, as a backlight here and all the side lights. And I'm using the Godox V1 for uh, with burn doors uh, to uh, illuminate the, the face of my subject. I'm using a Canon uh, R5 with the 24-105 lens is tethered to an iPad uh, via Capture One. This is all gonna, just to help me to, to get the, the exposure right, to make sure that the, the lights uh, are positioned in the, the right uh, direction. And um, after I establish like the exposure and I see everything goes good, I just gonna cut the tethering because it's easier to move around. I wanted to, to take uh, some uh, pictures with small flashes, but to, to give more uh, an editorial look like a big production look. For the first look uh, I want for this shot, uh, photo shoot, I want to start here indoors with uh, two strip boxes on each side of the, the subject just to, to get a rim light. I have the, the two lights uh, on the side set up at uh, 130 second power. These lights are pretty much equal in uh, power output. And I have the Godox V1 is uh, set up like 128 uh, uh, power. We don't need too much light for this kind of shoot. I just want to make sure that I have the uh, edge lights. It's easier on the back background. It's easier to cut out uh, my, my subject later on in uh, post-production. And I have the Godox V1 in the front to illuminate the face. I'm positioning the lights to make sure that it hits the, uh, the side of uh, of the body of uh, Eric here, he's uh, our trooper for today again. And I just wanna control these lights to make sure they don't spill over the face too much. The main light for the face is uh, my uh, Godox V1, whom I have it positioned kind of like straight to the, the face, but a little bit on the side to create a kind of like a, a, a soft shadow on the side of the nose knows to, to give more depth uh, to the picture. So I'm taking a couple of pictures right now to establish the exposure and uh, you can see in this close up uh, the rectangular shape on, uh, of the, uh, the highlights in the Eric's eye uh, from the Godax uh, with the barn doors. shoot with the same setup uh, like was in, in interior but uh, I only have the bare flashes to not fight the high winds on the beach and uh, I didn't want to take the strip boxes with me and spend more time trying to, to send back them in place and uh, make sure that they don't want to fly away. Using the iPad with the Capture One to set the correct exposure is fast and it's a great option and I use it all the time. Uh, the position of the flashes are the same like uh, I did before with the 200 and 300 as the edge light and the V1 is from the front uh, as a main light and uh, I'm using the sun more like a field. Having only the bare flashes on stand is great because you can move around very fast 
and um, because the ambient light was dropping quick and uh, I have to start using the, the 300 as a fill from the camera 200 as a side light and the V1 was on the back of my subject on a very low settings to help separate him from the background always check for the proper exposure on the face and have the fill light at the quarter power you set the side light you don't have to notice the fill light in the final images always keep your main light you know as the as the hero of the shot uh, the other lights is supposed to uh, help or enhance your main light it isn't supposed to overpower it depends on the look of course no love. but if you know when you shoot outside you know try to have one source of light and the other ones just to help or enhance the your main light uh, to don't be others that use multiple lights we tried different looks and locations until it almost got dark outside. We even got the moon on some shots and that was awesome. Uh, we wrapped up the shoot and these are some of the images uh, I got from this session. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.